As soon as we are done with the notes, we will go into screen remote. So they're like, oh. So into the middle of our packet here, on 14.1, just a couple of reminders here. Okay. Yes. Yeah, if you see, sometimes you may see one of these written <laughs> slightly differently. You may see it written like this instead. Okay, the X and the theta are just both talking about a degree measure on that. So yeah, they'd be one and the same if you were looking at those that way. And again, just a reminder from yesterday, we looked at the number in front of our sine, cosine, you know, whichever one it is, is our amplitude, and that just changes the height of my particular trig function if that number changes. What's my amplitude if I don't see one? One. Okay, my amplitude, my base amplitude is one. Okay. Then period division, it's always a 360s, a full period for these, but if there's a number or a value in front of my theta or in front of my x, we just divide that into 360, and that gives me my new period. And then I can just divide each of my base angles by that number and get to the same thing. But as I've got mentioned here, we're in all radians starting now. So we can kind of get past yesterday with the degrees, but again, changing it into radians is just basically doing the pi over 180 thing. So let me get this out of the way. And let's take a peek at a couple of these. Now again, nothing basically is changing from yesterday. We're still going to just go through and do our normal thing. So when I look at this, I'm like, okay, what's my amplitude on 7? 3. Okay, so my amplitude is 3. What's my period going to be? 360. Okay, but remember, we are now speaking in pi. So that's so 2 pi. 2 pi, okay. So my base is going to have a period of 2 pi now. So just because we're getting started here, we're going to think about our degree measures. Oh, wait a minute, though. Oh, no. No longer degree. Oh, no. We're in radians now. Okay. Uh, I would like, I don't know. Would that be too much to say you change them all into degrees in the back to radians? You can if you wanted to. Yeah. I'm not probably going to be doing that because you're right. It's going to get to be over. You're going to get to know these like the back of your hand quick. I know. Because if you think about it, okay, that's going to be zero. Now, here's what I want you to think about if you're having trouble trying to think about what the radian measures would be. Our period's 2 pi. We know that pi 180. is 180. So if my next normal degree measure would be 90, yeah, it's just half of 180. So it's half a pi. So 0, 90, 180 pi. is just pi. Two pi over two. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say my 360 is easy too. That's just 2 pi. And if you're not sure, think about it this way because there's always patterns to everything. If you start to look down this and think of it this way, here's the way I like to think about it, especially when you get into the fractional stuff. Yeah, it's like 0 pi over 2, and then it's 1 pi over 2. 2 pi over 2, well, 2 over 2 is just 1, so it's pi. Then it's 3 pi over 2, so that's my next one. And this would be 4 pi over 2, which is 2 pi. Just keep adding 1 to it each time is basically all that you're doing. And that will work even when you get into other factors here. If it's divide by 3, divide by 4, it'll still work the same way. So just simplify it. Or if you need to go from degrees and then put it back into radians for each, at least at the start, that's fine. Bless you. But my values, okay, my base values still aren't going to change. And for this first one, we'll just kind of do this as review. When it's sine, where do I start? Zero. Zero. So I go 0, and then I go up, back to 0, down, back to 0. But if my amplitude were 1, I'd be ready to go. But for this first one, okay, I'm going to take my value times 3, because that's what my amplitude is. So all of these values 
are being multiplied by 3, and then I can basically just forget about what's in the middle here. I just use that to kind of give me a little guidance on this first one. And a lot of you will get used to this where you'll just figure that out right off the top of your head and be done. Okay? If you need the chart, great. If you don't, that's fine too. So then I start going, okay, so 0, 0. All right. What else we got here? Pi over 2 is 3. Pi is 0. 3 pi over 2 is negative 3. And 2 pi is back to 0. And again, unless you're told otherwise, I don't mind if you stop at one period. But it really wouldn't be that hard to keep going with this because you're like, oh, it just keeps every single value, it just keeps going back up, whoop, back down, and I could actually keep the curve going if I wanted to. But again, only have to do one period. Are we going to learn about how they decrease to over time? How they... Right, and the, more of the application type, that sort of thing would be what we deal with in regular trig class because it gets you more into understanding more. We're still going to be doing all of the shifts and things like that. That's coming next. But the, the story problems that we're going to do are going to be very basic into keeping some things. But you might see some of that in the story problems we do, but we're not going to get real complex with how the amplitude changes sound and things like that. That's a, good, that's a good hook to get you into trig class next year. Oh, God. So, let's do one more here, and then we'll kind of see where we're at. All right. Number eight, amplitude? Three. What's my period going to be? 360 divided by two. Okay. 360 divided by two. But, okay. Pi. So it's pi, okay? And again, if you want to look at it as 360 divided by 2, and then look at it in the degrees and get it into pi, that's fine. If you want to look at it right away anymore as 2 pi divided by 2, not a bad idea. 2 pi divided by 2, you get right to pi right away. Okay, so that's going to be my period this time. So remember, when I go to put this into radians, and again, I'll, I'll keep charting for now. Some of you will pick up and be able to go without. Okay, so everything's being cut in half. 45. So that'll still be 0. Pi over 4. Yeah, if you cut pi over 2 in half, it's like multiplying by 1 half. So instead of pi over 2, it's pi over 4. If I take pi and... What's that? That's okay, we can adjust. That's the nice thing about drawing your own instead of having these, because a lot of times it gets tricky to figure out what the periods are that you want. Now again, here, just keep reminding yourself, it's like multiplying by a half. You're just messing with the denominator. So 3 pi over 4. And then 2 pi cut in half is just pi. Because remember, this is just like what we did in the last one. Once I see that first one... But in zero now, Zero would still be zero. No, my, okay. My degree measures aren't going to change. Oh, my no. values will. Yeah. Yes, my values absolutely will. So like we were doing here, if this part's getting you a little bit, just remember. Just keep going up one each time. And if you have to do this and then reduce it, two over four reduces to a half, that's fine. But just keep reminding yourself, you just keep going up by that one piece until you get your chart filled in. Once I've got that, yeah, cosine, I have to pay attention to my trig value, starts at 1 and then goes through the wave. And again, if I take that times my amplitude and the more comfortable you get with this you'll get to a point where you'll be able to knock these out right away and probably mentally do this part it just takes some practice so let's see here 0 we're at 3 
At pi over 4, you're like, well, wait a minute, I don't see it. Okay, but pi over 2 is 90. This is 45. So all of my values actually are going to be nice and be right in the middle. So pi over 4, 3 pi over 4. And if I needed the others, I'll just go ahead and put them in. Because between each of those, there's 90 degrees. That's why it keeps going up by 2 each time. So once I get those drawn in, then I'm like, okay, pi over 4 is at 0. Pi over 2, I have that one, is at negative 3. 3 pi over 4 is my next one that's drawn in, is back to 0. And then pi, we're back to 3. And like I'd mentioned before, if you wanted to keep going, because you're like, oh, it just keeps going each line that I've now drawn in, it goes back to that, back down, back up, and there we are. And I could finish my graph off and keep going with the curve. So no different than yesterday. Now it's just we're in radians instead of degrees. Now let's see. Let's get to a funky one. Let's bump down to 12. All right, 12. Amplitude. Four. Four. Ooh, period. Okay, now this time I'm going straight to pi. So 360 is 2 pi divided by 1 fourth. Because remember, once you see that fraction, that's going to be the equivalent of calling this 4 times sine of 1 fourth theta. These are identical in value. So if I divide by 1 fourth, yep, it's the same as multiplying by 4, so my period is 8 pi. So I start to think for a minute, and I'm like, okay, a normal period is 2 pi. This is 8 pi. So for my radian values, I'm just going to take my base, okay, what I had up here in number 7, I'm going to take those bases and I'm going to multiply them all by 4. And we want to simplify them. So I start to look and I go, okay, well, 0 is still 0. Okay. Now, normally at this part, I would sit and I'd say, okay, there's what I normally have. So if I multiply these by 4, well, 4 over 2 turns into 2, so it's 2 pi. 4 pi. 4 times pi is 4 pi, and you're like, oh, it's just going by 2 pi each time. Right, because 4 times 3 is 12, divided by 2 would be 6 pi, and 2 times 4 is 8 pi. Whatever your period is, that always should be the last value you're coming up with. If it's not, something went wrong somewhere. So now let's see this time if we can do our value right off the bat here. Okay, what trig function are we working with? Sine. sine. So where do we start? Zero. zero. The cool thing we know about sine is every other one is going to be zero. We really don't have to think about it that much. So it goes zero up to one, but I'm multiplying it times my amp. Back down to 0, down to negative 1 usually, multiply it by my amplitude. I have everything I need. 0. At 2 pi, we're up to 4. At 4 pi, we're back down to 0. At 6 pi, we're down to negative 4. At 8 pi, we're back up to 0. And we go in our lovely curvy way. And if I really wanted to keep going, I just noticed that every 2 pi, I keep moving to the next spot. So I could really finish this if I wanted to. And I'm set. Now, reminders on a couple of things. I'm going to cover this up for just a moment to get your attention.
It is not a shameless plug this time. If you have not started work on this first part, you can do degrees, but shoot, if you've waited this long, I just do it in radians. The rest of the assignment is radians only. Yes, there are two story problems at the end. <laughs> Yes, they give you the form and tell you where to plug the numbers, so there is no reason to leave them blank. Try something. Figure them out. On time, now, oh, now it officially is online. That's lovely. It's late if you turn it in Saturday. No. Okay, so Thursday or Friday, we're on time. Monday it would be late. And then starting tomorrow, now we've been working with amplitude and period, tomorrow we start shifting them up and down. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So that's what we're looking forward to. I 